Alright guys, welcome back. It's your boy Bad C, finally bringing, bringing you guys, guys some, some sort of video. It's been months, and I thought, why not bring you a Call of Duty World War 2, and you think it'd be a review or something. It's been out for like almost, a, or it has been out for a month now, but it's not. It's just a quick video. I got the highest kill streak twice within a couple of games, and I got the, it's, uh, I got, I got it in a care package, so... It's a bit of luck, but uh, it, there it is in all its glory. The ball turret gunner, it's got exactly the same as the chopper gunner, or very similar to the chopper gunner from Black Ops 1. So it's worth 1,700 points. I am running the requisitions basic training ribbon, which uh, which I have to score 3,600 points to get it. Uh, which, But, you know, after you die, you do not lose your streak uh, count. It still, uh, still goes up, so that ribbon uh, basically helps you get it regardless. As long as you have a good game, you'll get this uh, via the points. But I was lucky enough to get two of them via care package. And here it is. Uh, this is on the London Docks map. And this is the very first time I actually got to use it. So I was a little bit... Uh, I'm not, uh, well, I wasn't used to it, <laughs> so I was a little bit all over the place with it. I managed to pick up, uh, I think, two or three kills with this. I got Actually, there's the one kill on the uh, C flag, and then picked up a quick double kill, so I got the triple kill. Uh, as you can see, the screen kind of shakes around a little bit, and it's, uh, yeah, it kind of makes it hard to use. Uh, it is a lot better than the Ghost, uh, the Call of Duty Ghost um, chopper gunner, which was only available in those field orders, and that was, that was horrible to use, but... But uh, yeah, this is another one here I got on Gibraltar. Now there's a little bit of tips and tricks from Bad Seed. You can actually shoot the um, care package parachute and like, make it drop down quicker. So here, I couldn't believe my luck. I was on Gibraltar, one of my favorite maps in the game, nice and small or medium size. And I thought, oh, well, got the, damn, I got the best streak on this one of the best maps. So let's check it out. Uh, as you can see, the, the, the map is kind of, um, you know, there's a lot of crevices, there's a lot of buildings around the place too, so I was like, damn. So I got, managed to pick up a triple kill straight off the bat, and um, this was the second time I ever used it, actually. So I was, I was kind of like thinking, come on, I've got to get seven or eight kills with this thing on this map, but you know, everybody's hiding in the buildings, uh, you know, it's circling around. It doesn't last that long. I wish it did last, uh, you know, maybe five or six seconds longer. It seems to go for about 10 seconds, so, you know, another few seconds would, uh, would be handy, I thought. So, um, here's that first clip again on uh, London Docks. So, and like I said, first time I ever used it. Got a couple of kills uh, on this one as well, but um, it kind of moves around. You know, the, the, you know using the, uh, the, the ball turret itself is quite easy. It does move kind of fast. It's almost like when having a mouse that's a little bit too quick to use. <laughs> you kind of overshoot your position. Uh, with the uh, uh, bullets, but um, yeah, I had fun with it. Uh, probably won't get it again unless I get it in the cap. Actually, I'll never get it. Uh, you know, racking up the points. I'm not that good. So, but uh, yeah, but there it is. The ball turret gunner worth 1,700 points or 3,600 points with the uh, requisitions basic training ribbon. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked what you saw. Uh, you know, it was just a quick video on that highest streak. I was uh, I was quite happy to get them. So <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.